Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's topic will be how to get Lunar Client to work on a Chromebook. In this video, we'll, we will be covering how to download Lunar Client as well as making it functional on the Chromebook. The video will be split into a downloading portion and a bug fix portion, which will be both linked by timestamp in the description. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only 4.1% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe if you like my content. Well, anyways, enjoy! Okay, so the very first step is to search up download Lunar Client. And we'll go to the website and we'll go click the Linux option. So if you haven't already installed like Linux on your Chromebook, then I would suggest doing that soon. And we will save that to our Linux files and that's imperative that we save it to there. If you haven't downloaded Linux yet, uh, go check out some tutorials on YouTube. I'll link some in the description. So let's we'll open our Linux files folder, folder and um, files. As you can see, we can't run it because it's an app image file. So what we want to do is we want to get Nautilus. So that Nautilus is a Linux based file thing. I already have it installed, so I'll be, just be showing you how to install it right now. We do sudo apt install Nautilus. So I repeat again, sudo apt install Nautilus. So at this point, you just want to press enter until it starts downloading everything. And it's going to take a bit of a while, like maybe a minute or so. So after we open up Nautilus, we want to click on the app image. As you can see, it didn't work. So what we want to do is left, uh, right click it, go to properties, permissions, and change it to allow as executable file. And then we want to right click it again and press run. So this should open L Lunar Client. Now that we have Lunar Client open, we want to go to settings and change allocated memory to zero gigabytes allocate. And then, or 0 0.5 gigabytes allocated. We'll go back to the home menu and we'll press launch. And then you'll just be wait, you'll wait for the launcher to go through all those like settings stuff, updating and launching. I'll speed this portion up in the actual video. Now that Lunar Client has launched for you, or it's gonna show the like launcher window. That's that was a launcher. Now we have the application open now, and it's gonna be starting Minecraft. This is gonna take like a while because like the loading. So I also speed this up too. Now that the application itself has launched, I'll be showing you that. Lunar actually works. So we're going to hop into a multiplayer with a high, well, first of all, the sign in actually. You must have a actual Minecraft account, premium Minecraft account, not like cracked ones, not key launcher sign ins. It must be a Microsoft account linked with a Minecraft login. So now we'll hop into Hypixel. As you can see, this is in D Lunar Client. We have the scoreboard, the Bedrock scoreboard on the top right. We have the um, XYZ access coordinates on the left corner top. And yeah, so thanks for watching the video. And that's it for today. Bye. Oh yeah, also, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. So don't flame me, please.